Hey, what's up guys? I have a word that I want to share with you. I was on my timeline on Instagram last week. I was scrolling through and I saw under the hashtag prophetic word, this woman with this video. And I was like, oh, that's that's odd. Like this video feels weird, but this says it's a prophetic word, which in the Bible is a word spoken through humans from the Holy Spirit, uh, from people that hear the voice of, the, of God and are ordained to speak the word of the Lord. And so I continued to listen to the video and it sounded automatically off, um, but every word was right, right? It was confirming what I was knowing God was doing in this atmosphere and even sounded verbatim of a video that I heard on YouTube last week and I was like that's weird okay so I continue to listen and you have to be careful what you receive from people and I was like I'm not taking anything from this video but matter of fact let me go back to her page and see what this is about because it don't feel right it don't sit right in my spirit right so I went back to her page and she has on her page Oracle Jezebel spirit medium um, uh, witchcraft I'm a witch all this stuff and I was like oh wow you know of course i didn't have that reaction i said oh you better what in the world i didn't of course i didn't go crazy like that but i was like oh you uh-uh what is this you know I, I i just started printing songs i'm gonna be honest with you i started printing songs at that second so then i went back to the post y'all let me tell you about the deception that is going on in the atmosphere right now I went back to the post and this is just a sign of what is actually being released in the atmosphere. And this is just a sign. There's several signs to the deception that's in the atmosphere that is that's case that looks like something on the outside but on the inside it's a completely different matter and so if you're only looking for okay let's not even get there let's not even get there so i went back to the post right and i saw under the hashtag you know you know the spirit in her video she said the spirit the spirit the spirit now if you're in a church and you say the spirit then you know what spirit you're talking about but if somebody just says yes the spirit and i'm like hold on Hold on, what, uh, what you, because if you don't say the Holy Spirit, I don't really know who you're talking about. So when in her post, she said the spirit, you know, in the video, she said the spirit is going to do something new. The spirit said you will not be able to look um, back in this season. You will have to look ahead. The spirit is going to do something in your life that's not going to, and I said, hmm. Interesting. So in her post, she had a caption that said like what she was saying in the video. Then a couple of lines down, she had all these hashtags that said prophetic word, prophetic um, speech, um, word of the Lord, Christian word, um, by all these things that were Christian. Then a couple of lines below that, she had all her things that were related to um, that who she was. Hashtag occult, hashtag Jezebel, hashtag witchcraft, hashtag medium, hashtag oracle. And I need y'all to understand what's going on in the atmosphere right now, because there is a serious spirit of deception that's being released. And if you're not careful about what you receive, then you will take something at face value and you won't actually understand that it's being communicated through another spirit. Let's just break it down for a second. OK, let's just break it down. There's two spirits in this atmosphere. There's a spirit of light, a spirit from heaven, and there's a spirit of the dark. There is nothing in between and you cannot hang in the middle there are either air inside of you spirits of lightness spirit from heaven or the spirit from hell we're I, we're in the middle of two dispensations of spirits and there's a war right now going on <laughs> and so if you don't know now you know so when we actually are oblivious to this that the Holy Spirit is not only something that speaks to us or the spirits are not just, you know, demonic spirits or spirits that have passed away are not just beings that can be in our room, but they can actually come inside of us. Then we look at it as something different right now. Don't get spooky. But the first time that I saw the video of George Floyd being murdered immediately in my spirit, I said, there's a dark spirit in the cop's eyes that was my immediate response and it wasn't automatically a black and white thing it was this is a spirit of anger of racism of rage of wrath and it even makes sense because a person in their right mindset 
won't knowingly do what that cop did because he would know the repercussions. But it takes something that would overtake that person to do what that officer did, to do what those policemen did. It would take a spirit that was outside, that was beyond, beyond. Do you understand what I'm saying? They knew that people were watching. They knew that what they were doing was wrong, but it took something that was even beyond them saying no, because have you ever been in a situation where you're just in the heat of it and something comes over you and you say something that you don't even mean or maybe you're in a situation and you shouldn't be in a bed with somebody and you're like, I didn't even mean to do that, but something came over you, right? That overpowered what you even wanted to do. It's a spirit. And so when we understand that everything in this world is controlled by spirits, that the things that happen to people are controlled by spirits, good things and bad things. And so one of the first videos that I wanted to do, you know, I have a lot of things that I want to say, but not just related to George Floyd, George Floyd, not just related to that, but related to everything that's happening in the atmosphere right now, because I believe that there is huge deception and distraction that's occurring in the spirit realm that's trying to get you to focus on things as they look like and to corrupt your vision. I want you to listen to this right now and even take, put a note where I said, what is my, what am my vision? What am, what am I looking at? What is my vision because I believe that there is an assignment from the spirit of darkness to make you see things as they are but really there's a deeper level one one example is that how many times we know that the news world the news platforms are hiding things if they're purpose if they're being if we're being blasted with the message that just seems so out of out of the blue out of where is this coming from and then we find out that something was happening, right? We find out that something happened. Well, that's already happened now because Hillary Clinton has already been, well, I just put it on the screen. Mm. So that is just one example. But even with this, I believe that there's something being released right now in this atmosphere and he, the enemy, wants you out of position. He doesn't even want you praying. He doesn't even want you thinking about what's to have you have so many goals for this year but do you realize that in the past few weeks your mind has not been focused in the past few weeks your vision has not been aligned to the end goal so i want to i wanted to make this video and i want this so i want you to know that in this whole thing that your vision is so critical that what you're able to see in the spirit realm and if you're able to ask God to open up your eyes to understand what is truly going on and say God I don't want to just see things from a surface level I want to see things from a deeper perspective and I believe that God will begin to open up your eyes in the name of Jesus Christ you know I want to even pray for you right now God I pray the person watching this video God that their eyes will begin to open up in Jesus name that they won't allow the spirit of darkness to overshadow God what you want to show them in this hour father I command every blind eye to be open under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus father for you said that you open the eyes of the blind and you open the ears of the deaf in the name of Jesus so father we command our ears to be open and we command our eyes to see supernaturally father what the enemy doesn't want us to see we shall see in Jesus name just just cover your eyes just touch your eyes and say God blow on my eyes blow your breath on my eyes blow your breath on my eyes in the name of Jesus Christ thank you so much guys